My name is Julie and I'm at the Oxford Robotics Institute in Oxford. I'm a final year PhD student and what we do in the lab is all about autonomous robotics for robots that need to, um, to work in the real world with people. So it's all about having developing algorithms that are, are robust to all the complexity of the real world. And there are three big questions that we ask and that we try, we want robots to be able to continuously ask themselves and answer. And that's, where am I in the world? So that's navigation. So just as us humans, we need to know where we are and localize. Uh, that's a big question. So where am I? Can I know where I'm at in my environment? And then once we know where we are, we need to ask ourselves what's going on around us. That's perception. And then once we know what's going on around us, we can take decisions and so that's planning. And so my research has been um, addressing the, the navigation bit and the perception bit. And it's been trying to have a bit more farsightedness in terms of understanding ahead of time how well I'm gonna be able to localize. So often a robot is driving around and it's localizing instantaneously and then all of a sudden it's gonna get lost. So it gets lost very easily. There's still a lot to be done. Um, and so part of my research has been trying to um, given an environment, so I'm here, I'm seeing the world in front of me, can I have an idea ahead of time how well I'm going to be able to localize? Um, and that's important so that then the robot can choose a route depending on that knowledge of how well it's going to do. So it's, it links a bit to introspection, that's quite an interesting developing field at the moment. How can robots know ahead of time how well they're going to do in the world? And then in terms of perception, which is in the, the biggest part of my work, so as humans we're very good at understanding what's going on, so we're driving in Oxford, and we understand that cars are going to stop at the red lights, that pedestrians might stop if we're getting close to them. So we have this kind of high level understanding um, and what we, we call that state estimation. Where by just looking at a few bits of the world, we understand a bit the state of that environment and how it's going to evolve. And so my research has been trying to develop an algorithm that is better at estimating this environment in terms of the dynamics. So just by looking at the world, can it understand what's going to happen next? And that's very important for a robot to then to plan accordingly. So if I know what's going on in the next X seconds, well I can make the right decisions. So it's both this and the, and the navigation projects are both trying to, ahead of time, predict what's going to happen. So this is the place where all the robots happen. So we have a great team of engineers that prepare the robots for us. Um, and so it's all, so this was an originally um, Land Rover that we've converted, that we're still converting into an autonomous car. So that consists in putting a set of sensors on, on the car. So here on the top in grey, you have a 3D spinning laser that rotates constantly in 360. So that gives you a 360 3D structure of the world. And then on top of the laser, you have a radar. So that's what we're looking more into at the moment to do both navigation, so localizing with radar and navigating. So it has its own challenges. It's very noisy and such, but it can see really far away and it's much less um, affected by weather. So I can see more in fog and such where cameras can really break down. So the idea is to have different types of sensors that work in different conditions so that combined, combined together they can make robots more autonomous. And in the back, that, that's where all the magic of our engineers is happening, is the whole kind of computer system that runs on the car. We have a huge amount of data collected you know, every fraction of a second that needs to be processed really quickly. And so typically we'd, we'd sit in the front seat and we connect with our laptops to the computer. Data comes in, gets processed, gives controls to the car commands, and then you get some feedback and that's just a continuous process. And then it's the same thing. Localization, where am I, what's going on around, so detection, pedestrians, cars, traffic lights, and then planning. Now I know where I'm at, what do I do next? And so I give controls to the car as to where to go. Everyone will hear in the news every day there's generally a little piece of news about AI uh, propping up. Machine learning is everywhere and it's, it's done huge, huge leaps forward. You know, you do your Google search and then like in a fraction of a second you get the latest research of what you're looking at. Um, so it's, you know, the robots are there as, as someone says in my lab and, you know, it's going to come and it's going to be good. But there's, um, I think there's a lot of fear about machine learning and about autonomous robots. Um, I think, I mean, so, some fears I think are, are true. So it's, it's true that, you know, the more you have capable robots, the more they're going to be able to do work that currently humans are doing and that, that they're going to be replacing. So there's going to be a huge shift, and there already is, in terms of, of work. But I think it's, so it's important to, to really discuss it and to find solutions. Um, I'm, not, I'm not an advocate of robots everywhere. Um, so if I'm, well, I, I'm, I think robots, robots for, for space exploration you know, are amazing because we can't really send humans there. So I think robots becoming a tool for humans to make them 
do things better, like all the hard labor force the robot can do, and the human is more of a supervisor and, and a helper. I think is um, so. It's, yeah. So, so that's. I think that's that's one way forward with to to make it compatible with our with humanity. Um, so I, th I think it's important to think about what kind of robots, what kind of machine learning do we want to develop. Um, but if it can be rushing, like there's we're no nowhere near having robots overtaking humanity. Um, when I look at my work, I'm thinking, wow, this is you know this is never going to overtake the planet. Um, but yeah, but more and more we're trying to have robots be be smart and do things. So I think it's important to think about you know what do we want robots to do and what's the limits we want them to have. Um, and um, but I think overall there's a lot to be there's a lot to be found with robotics. Yeah. We invented the washing machine, I think that was good. So we just have to really think about how we want robots to live in our lives and, and what are the ethics we want them to do. What are the ethics that we have with that? But it's yeah, but there's a long road. <laughs>